Hey, how are you? Jeremy Bates here, Buffalo Modular Homes. It's an extremely sunny day. I don't have my sunglasses, but I wanted to give you a tour update of where we're at in this house. There's a lot of finishing work that we're doing up in the loft area. And I wanted to show you some of the insulation that we've been doing, the electrical work, the framing. So let's do a walkthrough. Okay, so this is a little more site work with this house. We've got the staircase that we've done on site and you can see in the living room, nook and kitchen, we've got the vaulted ceiling that has temporary bracing. Uh, we haven't removed that yet. Uh, all of the drywall work that we have uh, that's been um, that's currently installed that's that, that was installed at the factory and everything else we've been doing on site so I wanted to give you a quick tour of the loft area here and this loft area uh, we are finishing this loft area on site and this is sort of an open loft bedroom you can see here that it will spill out into this will be a, a glass handrail here and this will overlook the living space you can see the fireplace the stone stack fireplace will come up all the way to the uh, roof line and this is the bedroom loft area you can see we've insulated here we just went through the insulation inspection. We've got our recessed lights that we're putting in here. And we've got a cantilevered deck out here that looks out onto the lake. Okay. And uh, the subfloor is exposed because we're going to be doing all of that hardwood flooring here on site. There's a gable end window. But I just wanted to give you a little update on this and show you sort of the, the bones of the house and the quality of workmanship that goes into the structure of a modular home. A modular home has all of the construction specs of a site-built house with the added benefit of all of the work being done uh, off-site and so that the wood and all of the uh, items that make up the structure of the house are never rained on, they're never wet. And so you have a quality uh, product that is somewhat unsurpassed with a site-built house. And um, this area here, I've got temporary bracing here. This is all gonna be a glass railing over and uh, this will be a half wall here over into a bonus room above the the garage this little projection here is over the front porch and you can see we've got a couple of lights up in the ceiling here which uh, is going to be a perfect setup really for an office or just a little landing area and let's go into the top of the garage here So because it's a garage, I've got a fire door separating the house and the garage. And the garage is currently unfinished, but we uh, are gonna actually go ahead and finish this for the owner with uh, insulation and get it a little, uh, a little further along so that he can use it as a warm storage area. This uh, gable end window here, we have ordered and oh, the Tyvek's not gonna not gonna let me get in there, but that will look out into the uh, lakeside, and then the other gable end window is going to look out into the driveway side, and then we have a third we have a third dormer window here that's gonna look out into the courtyard. Okay, so. Hopefully this will be a value to you to see that the structure and the construction method of a modular home is 
a very high quality product, extremely high quality product with a large amount of customization available to you. And uh, like I say, this will all be a glass handrail here uh, overlooking this area. We've got the, the vaulted ceiling is actually gonna be a pine plank board that you can see is going up already. And we've completed our electrical and uh, insulation framing inspections. We've got some recessed lights located here already. And I'll follow back with how this vaulted ceiling comes together along with that two-story stoned fireplace. And uh, before I let you go, let me just show you the rest of the house. I'm gonna come downstairs, this is the foyer. And this is gonna look out into the lake. Obviously the kitchen is not installed yet, but we have an attached porch, covered porch here, and this will all be glass. So the windows are on route and this entire thing will be uh, just windows. This will be four windows here, five windows on the bottom, five windows on top, a couple of windows and a sliding uh, patio door there, which will open into, will open up onto this open uncovered porch area. And uh, let me show you what the basement is looking like right now. So, oh, you know what? Here's a really neat thing. Let me just tell you this. So coming into the foyer, we have a span, okay? A span is an area that doesn't have any vertical supports and it's headed up by this header beam. And we were at such a distance that we weren't able to span it any further without actually dropping this header down a foot and adding extra support. However, what we did was, in order to not have that dropped header, so that you'd come in and it would be a smooth ceiling out through and there'd be no visual obstacle to seeing the lake, we added inside those two beams, we added a metal switch plate. And that was able to uh, take some of the load and hide that uh, support so we didn't need to do a dropped header. And it was, uh, it was a little bit of an upcharge, but we talked about it with the customer and we thought it was um, architecturally, it was important for the house. So just wanted to show you that. Okay, let's go downstairs quickly. Downstairs, we've got nine foot poured basement. And okay, so you come downstairs and this will all be open. We're gonna actually cut these back just a little bit. We've got an I-beam here, uh, reducing the number of vertical support columns. Over in this corner is gonna be a bedroom. This will likely be an office area here. This area will all be open. So the bedroom will have a couple of windows out looking at the lake. This open area here will have, obviously, the sliding door with a couple of side panes. And this area will be uh, an open wet bar. Um, kind of a like a bar area, entertainment center. This is gonna be a utility room area that's gonna be closed off with a furnace and water tank and so on and so forth. But this is a pretty cool feature here. This is something you might see in a bar where uh, you have a patio and this is just gonna open up. This is an overhead garage door with uh, glass panels. And so this can just open up in the summertime. We've got a bar area here that'll go in and we've got a, a you know a retaining wall and a patio that's going to go out underneath the deck and you're going to be able to enjoy a uh, beautiful time with friends and family with the lake uh, right here you can see it's a windy day outside and so this this basement area is going to be a really awesome entertainment space with a bedroom uh, a bathroom area actually i think i said this was an, an open area but there will be a bathroom in here as well and so hopefully you found this tour of value and if you have any questions as always reach out be happy to answer any comments and questions that you have and we'd be happy to give you a, a quote for a project that you might be thinking of obviously this house is a little more unique a little more um, custom and expansive than you know a standard home 
but uh, you know we're happy to uh, quote you out on a house that makes sense for you and your family and guide you into something that is um, going to meet your needs. So feel free to reach out to us anytime and we'll get right back to you. And I appreciate you watching. Have a great day.